In this lecture, we'll uh, talk about some exercises using the chi-square test, and I will uh, demonstrate how to perform chi-square test uh, using SAS, SPSS, and Statistica. So for this set of exercises that we're going to perform is going to be on the HSB2 data set again. And on the HSB2 data set that we have over here, we have all the variables uh, and the data dictionary here. Yeah? So we've got gender, we've got race, we've got the socioeconomic background, the kind of school uh, the students are attending, what kind of program they are uh, enrolled in. So all, all the variables from uh, the gender, or the female variable till the program variable, these are all uh, nominal variables. Socioeconomic background might actually be classified as an ordinal variable as well, but uh, for the uh, sake of the exercises over here, we're going to treat it as a nominal variable. The tests that we want to perform here are uh, uh, all of the following. So the first test that we want to do is, does race impact or uh, uh, is race independent of socioeconomic background or not in this data set? So we've got race over here. So we've got four categories for race, even though it's coded as one, two, three, four, it's not a continuous variable. So we've got uh, race categorized one as Hispanic, two as Asian, three as African American, four as white. And then we've got the socioeconomic background, low, medium, high. So in the chi-square test that we will perform, the null hypothesis is going to be that race and socioeconomic background are completely independent of each other in the student data set. So let's go ahead and test this claim. The alpha that we're going to do all these claims against, uh, the hypothesis test against is at 5% level. So let's have a look at, uh, first is the, the procedure or the SAS uh, syntax. So I'm going to copy the syntax out onto SAS and put it over here. So I've already got the HSB2 data set uh, 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 inside uh, imported. So I'm going to perform the test for the race against the socioeconomic background. So proc freak data equal to data set name. So data set name is data dot HSB2. Tables, variable one is race, variable two is SCB. It doesn't matter whether I put tables SCB into race or race into SCB. It's only going to change the outla the display method of the cross tab. So if you want race on the X and uh, uh, SCB on the Y axis or the other way around, it's not going to change the result or the chi-square value or the p-value of the test. I'm going to do this and I'm going to introduce the ODS HTML option over here so that uh, we get an HTML output and that's all I need to do to run a chi-square test over here. I'll do, I'll select it all, press F3 and there we get our result. Let's open the HTML output. So over here we get the cross tab between race and the socioeconomic background. You get the frequencies, you get the row percentage, you get the column percentage, you get the overall percentage. So a lot of output over here. And let's see if we can actually, uh, you know, simplify it. So the way to read this each of the cells is that the first is the frequency, the percentage of observations uh, overall, the row percentage and the column percentage. So as mentioned in the previous uh, example where we did school versus house, uh, so we get a, a 4 by 3 uh, cross tab. The number of uh, degrees of freedom over here will be 4 minus 1, which is 3, into 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we'll get 3 into 2, which is 6 degrees of freedom. So let's have a look at the result. So when we do a chi-square test on SAS, we don't get the expected frequency table. So in case you want to get the expected frequency table, you can actually write your own code to do that. We simply get the chi-square value directly. So if I look at the chi-square value, it's coming out to be 18.5 and it has 6 degrees of freedom. So if I look at the presentation again and go back here, so for 6 degrees of freedom, the chi-square critical value is 12.59. So if you look at this over here, so the chi-square value for 6 degrees of freedom, the chi-critical at 5% is 12.59. If the chi-square value is lower than that, then it's in the acceptance region. If it's higher than that, it's in the rejection region. And over here, we get a chi-square value of 18.5, which is way beyond the, the critical value. So therefore, it lies in the rejection region. And I look at the p-value, p-value is 0 0.005. So it's much lower than uh, the, the alpha that we've set at 5%. So in this case, yes. We are going to reject the null hypothesis. We are going to go with the alternative hypothesis, which specifies that uh, the two variables are not independent of each other. So in this case, does race impact socioeconomic background? Yes, it does. 
So we'll just uh, you know put in the results for each of these over here. So yes, it does. And one more thing, if you want to you know uh, simplify the proc freak procedure and not get so many of these uh, options, uh, what you can do is uh, in this uh, over here you can put in some uh, settings over here such as no row. I'll just put them over here next to chi square. So you say no row, no call, no perk, no percent, and no cumulative. So if I run this again, I get a much cleaner looking uh, cross tab. So if that is what you want. So if you want a very clean looking cross tab, you can use these options. So you get only the cross tab values and then the uh, row total and the column totals. So one. Uh, one uh, concern over here and which the chi square test will automatically give you a warning for is that the percentage of cells which have uh, expected counts less than 5. So uh, uh, SAS uh, gives a warning if the frequency either an observed or expected goes less than 5 but we prefer that uh, none of the cells be lesser than 10. So there is a warning over here and chi square test is not very good at uh, you know small number of observations. So there's one warning over here, so we'll ignore that. But that's something, you know, FYI that we need to keep in mind. Let's look at the next uh, test that we need to perform. We need to check uh, whether socioeconomic background impacts the type of school enrolled by students. This does socioeconomic background impact the program. So we've got, uh, sorry, the school. So we've got two schools, which is public and private schools. And uh, we all know that uh, public schools are free, private schools are expensive. So we would expect that socioeconomic background does impact the type of school and we would test it at 5% level. So let's uh, copy the syntax over here. Let's run it. So type tables and the specific variable name will be SEB and school. So let's look at it. SEB school and let's look at the result. So here we get SCB versus school and we get a chi-square value of 6.32 and a p-value of 0 0.04. Looking at the p-value, it's lower than alpha. Uh, it's on the borderline, it's near very, very close to 5% but still lower. So we're going to say yes, that SCB does impact the school. So yes, it does. But it's on the borderline. So if we actually change the alpha to 1%, it will not. But you don't change the alpha once you've started doing the testing. You've already figured out whether you're okay with the type 1 and type 2 errors that are there over there. So at 5%, it does impact. So does race impact type of school? So type of school over here is again public and private. So we know socioeconomic background impacts type of school. Does race impact type of school? So we've already made, uh, determined that race impacts socioeconomic background, it does. Socioeconomic background impacts type of school in role, yes it does. So if A impacts B and B impacts C, we want to test whether A is impacting C or not. So this is a very interesting experiment that we want. Uh, we've already checked that race is impacting the socioeconomic background of the student. Socioeconomic background of the student is impacting the type of school enrolled. So we want to check the underlying factor. Does race impact the type of school enrollment? And let's see. So we want to see, you know, if by if the thermodynamics thermodynamics third law is applicable, then it will impact. But let's check it out. Race into school. So does race impact type of school? And let's run it. Let's look at the result. And we get the race versus the school cross tab. The chi square value 2.7 degrees of freedom 3. But if you look at the p-value, it's 0.43. So p-value is a probability of null being true. It's very, very high. And so we can actually very clearly see that this statistic is not significant. These two variables are in fact independent of each other. So while race impacts socioeconomic background and socioeconomic background impacts the type of school, race does not impact the type of school enrollment. No, it, they are, no, they are independent. There's no, there's no uh, correlation or there's no dependency over, over here. These two variables are completely independent of each other. Now the next question that we want to check is does race impact gender enrollment? So each student is classified as 0 or 1 or a male or a female. 
and we've got race. So we want to check, you know, is there any gender imbalance due to race or the other way around? You know, are some races sending, uh, you know, more boys versus girls or some more girls versus more boys? Is there a difference between uh, uh, gender enrollment due to race? Does race impact gender enrollment or not? So you want to test that out. You know, all of these tests are very useful in identifying whether there are ethnic problems or not. And, uh, you know, the school districts are, are very, very careful about these things. They track this data and, you know, it helps in uh, social programs. So you don't want to throw money behind a social program trying to solve an idea or a problem which, in fact, does not exist or is not backed up by statistics. So in case, say, we wanted to solve socioeconomic background and race, yeah, there is some problem over there. But race in school does not give us any problem. So here we want to test whether there is any fear, gender discrimination across the races in the school enrollment. Let's check it out. Let's look at this. We've got race, we've got gender. We look at the chi-square value and as you look at the p-value, it's higher than alpha. Therefore, these, the null hypothesis retained. Null hypothesis being these two variables are independent of each other. Therefore, it does not impact. So here we can uh, very quickly say, no, they are independent. So race does not impact gender enrollment. The socioeconomic background uh, impact the gender enrollment. So let's uh, run it again. So instead of race, we're going to check the impact of socioeconomic background. Press F3. Look at the result. We've got socioeconomic background. We've got gender. And we see that the p-value is again high. It's at almost 10%. So no, it does not impact. Alpha at 5%. The difference that we're seeing is, is uh, not significant. Just gender impact the type of program that we're enrolled in. So if I look at this, the program is a general program, academic program, and vocational program. So just gender impact the type of program the student is enrolled in. Slightly different problem. So let's look at this. So I'll just put in program with gender over here. Run this. So I think I got the spelling for program wrong. So it's just prog. So let's correct that. Yep. Select it. Run. And here we get it. So we've got program, we've got gender. And we see the p-value is almost close to 1. So that means observed and expected frequencies are very close to each other. Null is retained. Gender has got nothing whatsoever to do with the, the type of program the student is enrolled in. So let's put it in over here. Answer is no. Does race impact the type of program? So let's test this out. So program into race. Select this. Let's look at the result. We've got race, we've got program. And again, there is no bias. So race does not impact the type of program student is enrolled in. No. So we've done a series of tests over here and we figure out which variables do impact each other and which variables are completely independent of each other. So using a chi-square test, instead of making you know certain assumptions whether race or socioeconomic background or uh, uh, the type of program the students enrolled in have any impact on each other, we can actually go ahead and do a rigorous statistically backed test using the chi-square uh, formula over here. And we've demonstrated how to do this on SAS. On uh, the telecom data set, we've got a certain set of exercises over here. While I'll explain the exercises, they are your take-home exercises, which you all will do on your own. So on the telecom data set, so we've got the telecom data set over here. We've got the data and we've got the data dictionary as well. Test whether level of education impacts the region or zone the person is living in. So we've got level of education as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, these are not actual numbers. They are uh, placeholders. 1 means no high school. 2 means high school. 3 means some college. 4 means college. 5 means a post-grad degree. And we've got the geographic indicator. 1 as zone 1, 2 as zone 2 and so on. So we've got about uh, a few zones as well. So how many zones do we have? We have 3 zones. So does the level of education impact the zone that the person is living in? That's the first test that we have to complete. Does level of education impact the marital status? So we've got the marital status as well over here. Simply binary variable is married or unmarried. So does level of education impact the marital status? And does marital status impact 
the zone that we live in. So marital status versus the zone that the or the region the person is living in. So three chi-square tests to be performed. Uh, make sure that whenever you perform a chi-square test, the two variables that you are doing or building the crosstab on are both categoric and they should not have too many categories. So we don't want to end up with a crosstab which is like, you know, 6 by 10 or 10 by 10. Uh, so it should be a uh, reasonably small crosstab uh, maximum, maybe let's say 5 by 5. If you have too many categories, you may want to collapse the categories and uh, reduce them. So this was how to perform a chi-square test on SAS. I'm going to move on to SPSS. So on SPSS, we won't be doing all of these tests. I'll test, I'll take you through one test and then you can perform the others on your own. So with the SPSS data set, I'm going to perform the first test, which is does race impact the socioeconomic background? We already know the result that it does. So the procedure to perform this, we'll go to analyze. Right? We'll go to descriptive stats over here. And there's an option called cross tabs over there. So we've uh, we've covered descriptive stats in our first lecture itself. So we will select the cross tabs option. It asks us uh, what should be in the row, what should be in the column. So it doesn't matter if row column or column row, you can interchange them. So we're going to test, put race into rows, socioeconomic background into the columns. Now if I press OK, I'll simply get a cross tab over here, but I still need the chi-square value as well. So in the options over here, please select statistics. And there oh, we have a very helpful checkbox against chi-square. You don't need to test anything else. So these are the other kinds of uh, tests that we want to perform, but we are not covering them right now. So we only want to select chi-square. Press continue. Press OK. And the output uh, sheet, we'll get the cross tab over here. Normal cross tab. And in the table below, we get the chi-square. So the chi-square that we are interested in is always the Pearson's chi-square. So you can look at the likelihood chi-square as well. So even in SAS, we get a whole other types of chi-square values as well. So these are uh, the various chi-square values uh, using some or the other correction formulas for uh, low number of observations and all. The first chi-square that you get is the Pearson's chi-square test that we are interested in. You can also look at the likelihood, uh, maximum likelihood uh, ratio chi-square. Um, in, in most cases, what you will see is these two will give very close results when you especially look at the p-values. In uh, SPSS as well, the Pearson's chi-square value, we get a value of 0 0.005. So yes, it does impact. The p-value is low and all has to go. Let's test out a few other examples as well. Socioeconomic background versus school. So I go back here, analyze, descriptive stats, cross tabs, swap out race, put in school. Statistics, chi-square is already checked. Press OK. In the output tab, let's have a look. So we've got, uh, the, this was the previous result. This is the newer result. School versus socioeconomic background, 0 0.04. It's very close to the uh, 0 0.05 value. So you will observe that uh, the uh, that the result is exactly the same as SAS. And you'll see a small warning also pops up that uh, some of the cells have uh, counts less than five, right? So that can create a problem. So you might want to look at the corrected factor, but it does not matter. So 0 0.04, the null value has to go. Let's look at the third exercise, which was race impacts the type of school. Go back here, analyze, descriptive stats, cross tabs. Uh, swap out socioeconomic background, put in race over here. Press OK. Let's look at the output. And there we get it. So we've got the observations. We got the chi-score value. And again, the p-value is 0.437. And race does not impact the type of school we are enrolled in. If we look at the likelihood ratio, which is another way of doing the test, that also has a p-value much lower, much higher than alpha. So there's no... Uh, there's no the dependence over here. The two variables are completely independent of each other and the results that we are getting is exactly the same as SAS. So this is how we perform a chi-square test on SPSS. If I want to move on to Statistica, the data set is already here. On Statistica, there's a little roundabout method of doing it. So I'll go to Statistics and I will uh, so I'll select this data set, obviously. Look at Statistics and Oh, I've got a problem here. So just give me a minute. I've opened this in the wrong statistic option. So I'm just opening Statistica again. 
So let's have a look at the data that we've got. So I'll open the data set again. So I'm going to go to the correct data set. Open the HSB2 data set. I'll directly open this as data set. Yeah, there we have it. I'm going to go to statistics. Then there's an option called batch or by group analysis. So I'm going to select this. And over there we have an option called cross tabulation tables. Select the cross tabulation tables. Press OK. So let this open up. Go to the variables. You have this variable. So I'm going to select first variable as race, second variable as socioeconomic background. Press OK. And you can select this. Press OK again. So we get the uh, uh, we get the uh, the cross tabulation matrix over here, but now I also want uh, the uh, the chi square value to pop up. So in this case, you have to go to the general option here, and you can see the detail of computed results reported is kept to minimum. Instead of minimum, I want all results over here, and uh, here in Statistica you can actually create expected frequencies, residual frequencies as well if you want. We don't want the expected frequency matrix. If you want, you can press it to true. But uh, let's uh, let let's try it at true as well. Press OK, and you get a whole lot of out options over here. In fact, uh, many more than you can get in default by SPSS or SAS. So let's go through this. So here we go. All cases statistics. So you get the Pearson chi-square value as well. You get the chi-square value which is 18.5 degrees of freedom six. P-value is 0.005. So p value is low null has to go and you get the categorized histogram as well so a lot of options you get the interaction plot which is nothing but the value so this won't actually make sense uh, uh, for negative values but you can use this you get all cases as well so let's try out some other variable so i want to go back to quick go to the variable swap out put in social economic background here put in school over here press ok all results, everything, create expected frequency as well. Press OK. So here we get the set of uh, frequency tables for the next set of results. So we get it for. So as you can see, this is the set. And let's have a look at uh, this result. So this is the, the cross tab. And let's have a look at the Pearson chi square value. There we get it, the Pearson chi square value. P value is 0 0.04. So p-value is low, null has to go. And you can look at the other results as well. So same set of results, everything same. Uh, I'll do one more test. So I'm going to close everything over here. Do one more test. So let's try out whether gender impacts the type of program enrolled in. So again, the, op the procedure is to go to statistics, select batch or by group analysis. So one is already running, so I'll just click on start new. Select cross tabulation tables, press OK. Variables, so the one which I want to test is gender impacts the type of program or not. So I'll select gender which is coded as female, program which is coded as prog, press OK. In the general option, select the comprehensive the all results option. Right? I don't need all of this, uh, the too many outputs last time, so we let it put as false over here. Press OK. And there we get it. So we get the results. So the first is uh, the uh, chi-square value. The first tab over here will give us the chi-square value. So chi-square value 0.13, p-value is 0.93. So this will be exactly the same that we saw in SPSS or SAS. So it does not impact. So this was how to do a chi-square test uh, uh, using the Statistica. So we've covered doing this chi-square test using SAS, SPSS and Statistica. We have a set of problems that we've left uh, for the student to solve on their own on the telecom data set. And before I close it, uh, I'll uh, show you how to do the chi-square test using Excel itself. So Excel has a pretty good formula over there. So let's do race versus socioeconomic background if you want to do. So let's see, I've got, so I'll need to create a cross tab over here first. So let's select this, insert pivot table. I select race on one side, socioeconomic background on the other, and I want a count of observations in the each. So make sure this is set to count and not to sum. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. So let's remove blanks. 
and here we get we get race versus socioeconomic background so please note that this is the observed frequency matrix so i need to copy this out into a new tab and there we get it so this is the observed frequency matrix between race and uh, socioeconomic background over here so if i look at uh, the options over here we get if i look equal to chi i get a lot of chi square options over here so if i want to do the chi square test it asks me to select the actual range which is the actual cross tab then it also asks me to select the expected range so i need to create the expected frequency matrix as well so let's say this is the observed so excel will not create the expected frequency table on itself you'll have to create it yourself so i'm going to push this out and let's say the expected frequency table is always going to be the row total so this is the row total into the column total divided by all the observations total which is 200 so this gives me the expected frequency matrix and let me just uh, paste it everywhere sorry about that i'll just paste this formula everywhere and let's update this formula for the second row second row i have to shift it over here this formula shifts over there and there we get it now let's uh, solve this for the third row so third row goes over here the column total goes over here yeah so this is running correctly sorry this goes over here row total into column total divided by total and publish it everywhere and finally again the row total into the column total divided by to the whole total now if you are very good at this you can actually create a formula which locks itself uh, perfectly you just write it once and paste it everywhere else but you know my locking is not that great now if i done it correctly the total sum should be exactly equal to 200 so it's coming 200 so let's look at uh, the chi square test over here so i use the chi square test i've got the actual range over here i look at the expected range so this is the expected range and run it and i get a value of 0.005064 so this is directly the p value so if i look at race versus socio economic background on sas so where is race versus socio economic background so this is race versus socio economic background i run this if i look at the result the p value is 0.0051 and i look at the excel result is the same thing so if i narrow it down 0.0051 so the p value remains the same so you don't get the chi square value you get the directly the p value so excel is very smart it looks up the appropriate chi square table and converts the p value itself so you can do a chi square test using excel as well the only thing is you'll have to create the expected frequency matrix on your own and if you write the formula correctly you may have to write it only once and you can drag it across the whole cross tab so that was our exercise on the chi square test uh, we've demonstrated how to do the chi square test on a variety of statistical tools and we've got an exercise for the students to take home as well